and we are live. Good evening and welcome to Exploring WordPress with myself, Alan Hennessy, and Trevor Lawkins. That's Episode me. number, uh, Trevor, help me on this one. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> right. Roll credits and let's get into this. Yes, indeed. Good evening, guys. Welcome on in. This is Exploring WordPress. I think it's about episode eight or nine. I, I'll, I'll, like that, yeah. I'll double check it as I'm as I'm talking to you. I can multitask here, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> as I do. Yes, indeed. And uh, it's a very good evening to you. Welcome on in. Thanks for joining us. If you're watching this on the um, on the replay, it is a pleasure to have your company as well. And let us know uh, that you are actually watching us on the replay if you're watching us live good evening to you as well um another tuesday evening it is episode number eight trevor oh, episode we number well done. That's well done. just double check and see the way i was able to do that anyway I'm and impressed. tonight we are going to be talking all about uh backups yes yeah. indeed and backing up your um WordPress site, very, very important part of um, any WordPress website, any part of any website in, in yeah. actual fact. Um, but before we start, Trevor, how are you? Good. Today is good, apart from the torrential rain and thunderstorms halfway through the day, and I thought my computer was going to suddenly go poof, black any minute. So if I disappear, it's because we've got a thunderstorm and we've been hit by lightning. But in the moment, it's, it's a bit calmer at the moment. But it's been an entertaining day weather-wise. So, uh, yeah. But apart yes. from that, all good. All good. So it's always good to be reminds back me. in for another WordPress. Yeah. Always reminds me. When I hear thunder, it always reminds me of uh, the film Ted. But I can't even say what they <laughs> say. But you, you know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, no, no. Well, as... As we all know, Trevor's in the UK and I am here in Ireland. So it's been a beautiful Sunny's day here, um, right here in uh, good old Bray in um, yeah. in the Garden of Ireland in County Wicklow, uh, yeah. just outside Dublin, if you are wondering. But anyway, enough of this dribble, as we say. Um, <laughs> I think we uh, we should get into our chosen topic tonight, which is is uh, backups and uh, mm. backing up your WordPress site. Um, I think it's very important, and I know you uh, you do as well. Um, so you might uh, give us a little bit of a a little bit more deeper understanding. Yeah. Of well, I think it, it, it's worth saying back up not just WordPress, any website that you've got. If you value the effort you put into building it, backing up is essential. Um, <laughs> Because this internet thing, we've all got our website sat on somewhere. Half the people don't know where their website actually is, other than it's magically on the internet that their web designer suddenly put somewhere. You know, servers can go down, servers can crash, you can lose your account, you can forget your password. I've had every excuse under the sun over the years of clients going, oh, my website's disappeared because I didn't know who hosted it and I, whatever, lost touch with the web designer and my website's gone down. Do you know where it is? I said, well, just restore it for backup. They go, oh, well, I didn't take a backup. And it's just so frustrating that backing up is just so important, um, WordPress or any website. And this is, I think, where we touched on earlier, some of the other platforms you can use, one of the big things with them, which I struggle with and why I won't use them, is because you can't back them up or you can sort mm. of back a bit of it up. You know, there's, there's one platform I know that people do are very popular, blogging, and you can have a website and a blog. And I've said to somebody, can you, can you back up the blog? They go... Well, I've looked at it, and you can like black up, back up the text sort of thing, but not the blog format and the pictures and the. So you can't back it up then, you know. And so many of these platforms, sort of, you you have faith that it will always be there, you know. Um, yeah. As I was talking to some other day, I said, "Well, do you back up all your camera artwork?" They go, "Well, no, I never thought about it." And everybody uses Canva, yet no one questions. Well, where is your backup? Nobody's got a backup with their camera because they assume camera will back out for them and they assume camera will yeah. do everything. And there's this, this assumption all the time, whether you do it yourself or you've got a web designer or you've got a hosting company somewhere, you just assume that your website will magically be backed up and any problem you get will magically get fixed. And it's with websites, it's not the case. So backing up is so, so critical. Unless you couldn't care about your website. You know, if you couldn't care less whether your website disappeared or not, then don't bother to back up. But I think most people put a lot of effort into it. They get it how they want it. You want to you keep a copy of that. 
Um, we can go into the detail of you know, how often you keep a copy. Do you back it up every week, every month, every year? Or do you copy it once? There's lots of scenarios you can go into. And, you know, I jest, are oh, you bothered about your website? But you've got to think, well, there's different kinds of websites. You could have, I don't know, a three or four page brochure website, a few pictures, a bit of text, nothing much changes. You put it up there as your, as your little basic catalog. While it's good to have that for your business, it's not perhaps business critical if it went offline for a day. You'd probably carry mm. on. You probably wouldn't, might not even notice. You know, how often do you look at your own website? Not very often. Whereas if you've got an e-commerce website that's generating lots of sales every day um, and got a lot of activity, if that website goes down, suddenly your income is zero. Yeah. You know, and you've got to think that if you've got an e-commerce website, I don't know, say you've got a website doing £1,000 a day turnover. That goes down. That's a £1,000 a day you're losing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's more okay, critical. Yeah. yeah, that's more critical. So there are levels of degree of how serious backup is, but I think the fundamental message is you've got to take backup seriously um, as your first starting point of your mindset of having that website. Yeah. And even what we said the other week, you know, as you're building your website, if it's going to take a while to build it, that's a critical time to have the backup there. Don't leave it till you've finished it. Because if you're halfway through the build and something goes wrong, you know, you want to restore it back to something, you've messed up a template or you've installed a plugin that went haywire. That's the time you kind of think, well, no, I need the backup to go back to a previous, um, previous, previous version. Edition. Yeah. And I've, I've tried, you know, I, I play with lots of plugins because that's kind of what I do. And, you know, some plugins aren't brilliant. And you find your way around that <laughs> some of you realize they're not mm. that great. And I have had plugins that have messed the site up and you're suddenly stuck with, oh, my website's gone down because this plugin has messed something up. Yeah. Do you do you spend the time trying to work that out and figure it out, or you just go and tell you what, I restore it to yesterday's website and just get it back to where it was and carry on again? So lots of reasons to do backup, but um the kind of assumption that someone else is probably taking care of it <laughs> is such a big assumption you can't rely on. So yeah and i think that's that's the key here is as you say is, is don't rely on someone else's is to do it yourself and yeah. like you know like i have been cut out once or twice where <laughs> i've you know i like that i've installed particular plugins and the website has just gone haywire and mm -hmm. you spend about an hour and you say all right that seems to be back and then you look at another page and that's like no that's not sitting now where that was put in uh, whereas as you say if you just had a backup you just go all right restore to previous version or whatever it may be yeah and boom and you're back up and you're running and then you just say right i ain't installing that plug in again because yeah, yeah. that's going to cause the major problems but yeah. you know and i think it's it's so vitally important like with regards to even as you say um having them having when you're actually building the website is mm. the store because like i know for instance like even there yesterday i was doing work on a website and like that i mm. i took out the wrong graphic and the wrong the <laughs> wrong text I, yeah because i was building it with the page builder and i just what i thought i was on i wasn't on mm. and yeah. i literally took it out and i went and it was a good chunk of text and it was quite a complex uh, number of graphics within it. And I went, oh, I have to go. And I went, no. And like that, I just went, right, restore it back. Mm. And I just literally restored it back within seconds. And it was yeah. up and running. And it took yeah. all of the pain out yeah. of that. And I think that's another key factor mm. of backing up your website, that you have yeah. no pain and you have the, you know, you have the reassurance that it's yeah. it's grand like that you can work on it and then obviously as you say going week to week or month to month or whatever you may mm. do um yeah. is backing it up then so mm. speaking of backups i think we might jump over to our, our friendly little wordpress site yeah and, friendly WordPress um, site. and we shall um let's see oh, now hold on now let me get this right now because we have to have to get change change things here before right, we go right. anywhere. Yes. Now, so there we go. Oh, there we go. Right. We so uh, let's uh, load screens. There we go. So there do we, we want a full? We we do a full screen. Oh, that's good there. I think that's good there. We can. Uh, we can do that full we screen. Can zoom a little bit. Yeah, that's not too much detail yeah. going on there. Um, so backing up. Yes. Um, <clears throat> There's probably lots of choices out there, and I've tried various plugins over the time. And 
the one I've settled on and I find is so reliable and it's so solid and uh, never let me down and that's what you want in a backup plugin is these is a plug-in um well it's got a plug-in show you where it is on the plugins plugin called updraft strange mm. name i don't know why it's called updraft plus um but it's a backup store plugin and it's um comes with a free edition which we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the free edition to start with but there is a paid pro edition which i do use because it has extra features but the free one is a great starting point um basically we pop in the settings and it probably gets a bit a bit complicated but we'll work through the stages um and we'll go for settings so when you start you install the plugin like as we've talked about installing plugins before this is what you're going to get and you have to realize with wordpress it's built up of files and a database okay mm. so the files are things like your plugins your themes that the basics of wordpress itself that comes to make the thing work that's all in the files and then with it is a database of all the data so when you type in your blog post or you type in a page or you upload pictures all that data sits in a database and they're the two main elements you get that create WordPress as we know it. And here you'll see a file backup and a database backup. And we can choose how we want to back that up. And there's a drop down list here. So you can do it manually if you just want to do, well, I just want to press the button and back it up when I feel like it. But the whole point of backups is you just want to set it and forget it, really. You don't want to have to log in every day. Oh, I don't need to back up today. So manual probably isn't the best solution. Um, you've got a choice from hours to monthly. And as we sort of touched on just now if you've got a, a brochure website you don't change very often you haven't got a blog probably monthly is going to be fine because if nothing mm. changes on your website in a month then you're going to be backing up what you backed up last month other than plugins may have updated and stuff so a month a month is going to be fine if you've got you know a high value e-commerce website say you're doing ten thousand pounds a day on a website you're going to want four hours because four hours worth of sales is thousands of pounds yeah, yeah so you're going to want a shorter time span there's no right answer you know people say oh what's the right answer? there is no right answer it's just having that confidence of what what you feel and how sort of risky you think it would be if your website went down i you know, think if you it's down, it, yeah i think it's down to when you say it's not you know it's not, it's it's a down it's it's really down to the individual it's how how yeah. how valuable is this to you yeah. and then it's up to you then to pick or decide whether well, it's going to be four hours 12 hours yeah you know weekly monthly whatever it may be yeah, yeah. yeah. so let's do this one i mean we, we play about this every week so let's just do this say weekly and you can choose we're saying weekly we can choose what day and what time do you want that to run i would generally say i think the majority of the sites i'm working on they're kind of uk based businesses so i would generally run it during the middle of the night just it puts a little mm. bit of load on the server, nothing major depending on your server. But why why do you want to run it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon if people are visiting the site, run it in the middle of the night? And what yeah. day of the week? But you can choose a day and choose a time, entirely up to you. Um, and equally down here, we can go to the database. We can say we can back that up weekly. We can choose different settings if you want you know, to replace the database back up more often. But you can choose those too. And then the next thing we decide is how many backups do we want to keep? So, mm. um, say for example, you backed up and only kept one copy, yeah. and the website was hacked, messed about with, and you did another backup, and that replaced the backup copy you've got. You've now got a backup of a hacked copy. Yeah. Ah, yes. So, yes. if we say here we do four you'll get four copies once it starts rolling it'll take four weeks to get there but once it's up and running you'll always have four copies so when the next week comes along week five and it does a backup it deletes week one and does week five so it'll have a roll in four weeks worth of backups all the way there right so if you notice your website's been hacked in week week two you've still got two copies of good websites yeah very good very good i would have never thought of that i would have just always yeah. thought i would have always just presumed you know oh yeah take a backup so it's just yeah. the one backup so yeah. if something happens but yeah. i've never ever thought yeah. of that and that has really if 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 i've learned nothing from these wordpress sites, that's what i've learned yeah. uh, today this is that's yeah. a really that's a really good tip 
the only downside to that is well you say well i'll take 40 backups i'll take 100 backups you know I'll just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just coming down to how much storage space you've got on your hosting account or wherever you decide to back it up how much space is it going to take up if space is an issue don't go mad but mm. i would say for a general website four weekly and four weeks should be enough yeah to give you good enough protection anyway that's what we can do um we can add incremental backups and i think we'll leave incremental backups for another day because um generally i find with wordpress unless you've got a massive website with tons of content in it you know with millions of blog posts it, it's it it's it's fine just doing a backup as as we are you know space wise so we'll, we won't go into incrementals because that will just add an extra level of confusion that we probably don't need yeah, um, yeah. so we've got weekly we can choose the date and time and we could do four um i've got on this one the pro edition so my pro edition gives me options to back up to a load of different places so you can recognize sort of google clouds microsoft dropbox amazon's OneDrive. um the free edition you don't get those options the free edition you can only back up to the server that your wordpress is on right um okay. which is fine it takes a copy of the website and you'll back it up to the same server you're on it's okay but you know i've had servers go down literally i've had like, years yeah. ago i had a server packed up and i'd start again the server crashed the hard drive went and i had to start afresh so if i had been backing up to the same server that my wordpress was on i would have lost wordpress and the backup yeah it happens yeah. i'm not saying it happens every day of the week it's happened to me once in my whole career of websites but it did happen it so it's happened yeah it can, it can happen so that's your risk if you're backing up to the same site that your website's already on if you have a problem with that host or that server or whatever you've got the same the same problem with with your backup at the same time so i i run the pro account i can't i think it's i don't know 50 pounds a year something like that it's 50 60 pounds it's it's not an extortion amount of money to go for the pro account um and then you can back up to lots of cloud services whatever you've got google drive whatever you've got um so it'll back it up locally to the same server and to a third party cloud that you choose so it gives you that mm -hmm. extra level of protection um and i i think obviously from that websites i'm backing up it's certainly worth the, the 50 pounds whatever it's a year to, well, to get that if you look if you look at 50 pounds or 50 euros or whatever it may be yeah. it's 50 uh, the way i would see that and the way i would put that across is it's 50 pounds worth of security that you're Easily backing up there yeah you can sleep at night <laughs> yeah you can yeah. sleep in the safe and the knowledge that you know that your website is protected and it is there so yeah. well when someone well it is i suppose and it is, it is in a way it is protected yeah. because you know yeah. it's 50 pounds it's 50 euros of reassurance yeah 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 that's right for a year for a year so if you worked that out even for a year it's less than, it's less than a pound or a euro a week yeah yeah so and there's a usually say plenty of cloud services there and some of those are free or again you might you might have to pay for cloud services but i think a lot of people probably would have a google drive or a dropbox or something already so you know that's it's all good to be there so as we work down this page in our settings i've already set up on this one i've got one drive set up for my cloud storage um and I tell it which folder I want to, to save it to. My account is OneDrive. And then we can choose what do we want to back up of our WordPress. And as I said, you've got the files. We've got plugins, themes, uploads. Um, you can add rules if you don't want to upload certain files, if you really want to, if you're that fussy. Um, we've got WordPress core. Some people say, oh, don't bother to back it up because that comes with WordPress. I generally include it because it's just easy to restore if you're doing a whole restore. Um, other directories that may be there, you can uh, add those in. And if you've got any other directories you actually want to include as well, if you've got extra manual directories, you can include them as well. You can encrypt the database. So you just get quite sophisticated. You can back up other databases if you've got things. And then finally down here, you can pop in an email address and get a report if there's any warnings or errors about the backup if it fails for whatever reason you know if if one drive went down when it tried to back up it would fail and it would send me an email saying you know your backup failed have a look check what's going on and then you can save the changes and that's set up that backup profile so every week now sunday at five minutes past midnight that will run that backup mm. 
if I want to manually just kick it off, if I want to do right, I want to do a quick backup, I literally can press backup now and I can choose what I want to take a manual backup. I click backup now and give it three or four minutes. That will back up. I won't do it now because we don't want to sit there looking at a screen for four minutes. Um, but, it, you know, literally about three or four minutes, that will back that up. Oh, and obviously it depends how quick your internet server connection is and that kind of thing. Yeah, of course. Then what it will show down here is one I did earlier. <clears throat> Is what I did earlier. So today, a couple of hours ago, <laughs> I ran a backup and it's backed up the database, the plugin, the theme, the uploads, the WordPress core, and the others. And there we go. And there's another one on the 19th. So you will start seeing every week now a backup, and that there'll be four backups there that you can you can pick from. Mm. And you're backed up. Um it's kind of kind of as simple as that. Does that sound simple enough? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And, you know, um, let's just move this back here and we'll just swap places. There we go. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think, you know, it's fairly self-explanatory once you get it. But um, what's the name of the plugin again? Up front, up. If you go to digital, if I can go to, if I go to digital alchemist on my website, there is uh, a resources page. Um, oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, oh. uh, there we go. Yeah, if you go to more, go to more resources, and down here is a list of various things we've spoken about over oh, the weeks. Good, yeah. And there's an updraft plus one there you can look at. Um, if you want to go there, so it's just digitalalchemist.live, and there's a page there which I'm adding every week. We talk about something, and for something there we need to refer to, I'm just adding it to the page to make your life easy. Very good, very good. And then yep. what we'll do is, is um, what we'll do with that is, is we will actually put that uh, in the comments uh, yeah. after this episode, so people yeah. have that resource to go to. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant stuff. And I think, as you say, it's it's peace of mind. It's it's making sure that you're not losing money through your website, and you're not losing, um, you know, you're not losing those. In, valuable pieces of content and yeah. your website yeah. it says it says it's good as as ever you know what i mean because well, the other side of that is if you're paying a lot of money to even if you've gotten someone to design your website or if hmm. you have um you know if you've done it yourself you've you've spent a lot of time you spent a lot of money on it you spent a lot of hours on it so having that backup and having that security and having that reassurance that it's all there is you know it's it's brilliant and it's great yeah. and i do yeah. believe it's it's so so important so um well, yes. i think the key to it is you know if you've if you've created a new website and you want the extra security if you've made a copy to the cloud you can always download it to your own computer mm. stick it on a memory stick or burn it to a dvd or whatever you want to do and you've then got a permanent copy stick that's it on a floppy disk in the early weeks that's what we said about you've got your website on a memory stick yeah Everything that's all on there, and if you've got Updraft Plus, you can restore it back in on any host, on any web, you know, any version of WordPress, wherever you put it, you can get a WordPress copy back from copying that memory stick data. You need the Updraft Plus plugin, um, obviously, to install it back in. But, uh, and that's you know, this is what I use all the time if I'm moving servers, if I'm um, moving from a sort of a development environment to a live environment, I restore backup, restore backup, copy things across, and it's quick and easy. So if we jump back on the screen, let's look at restoring. How easy it is to restore something if you've like, okay, you may move from one web post to another web post, or if I'm working on clients' websites that take a bit of work, I'll take a backup of their site and restore it onto a temporary hosting account. And basically, it's under restore, which is this backups we saw down here. If you wanted to restore. We can click restore and we say, okay, what what do I want to restore? I've had a problem with themes. I'll restore the themes. You can restore all of it, the whole the whole thing. You know, I won't click restore because again, it takes a few minutes to think about it and work through the mm. work through the screens. But it was a simple glitch. If I press restore there, accepted all the the checks, that would in a few minutes restore that backup to WordPress. As as simple as that. If you've copied files to cloud, you can just drag them into there and upload them onto that screen and restore them from there you know yeah. so it's it's very easy to use once you get your your head around it but equally if you're not sure about it and i know people get a bit nervous oh, I'll restore it what happens if, you know the rest of it if you've got that backup and you've got a digital alchemist you can get it back and i have recovered somebody had their website hacked um 
and they'd lost their password. They couldn't get in. They couldn't restore their password. Nothing worked. And they were in a right panic because they'd, they'd been a blogger for like the last 10 years. They've got loads of blog posts. Yeah, and huge all, of content. Their website was now just a holding page. Someone had taken it all down. And they're in a the right state. And I said, well, have you got any any logins at all? You know, And I, I got in through a backdoor method of getting into the database. And this is what advanced, Word, advanced, advanced WordPress. And it turned out the hacker had taken out all the usernames and passwords. So there was no login. You couldn't log into WordPress. They deleted them all. Mm. Um, but I added a manually added a login into it and found that they had a backup from like four years ago. Right. Yeah. And they've never backed up since. So Ooh. I could have restored, I could have restored that backup from four years ago to get their website live again, you know? Yeah. So at least if you got that backup, even if you're not sure how to restore it, someone will know be a WordPress to. expert. You know, you don't have to use the digital alchemist. I mean, it, great, love you too. But, you know, there is enough WordPress people out there that can take your backup and get it, get your website back up and running. But if you haven't got a website backup, no one's going to get it back. <laughs> no. and, that's, <laughs> you know? and that's the other side of it as well is, is even if you don't do WordPress or you don't, you know, you don't know the world of WordPress and you're only starting out or whatever, but you eventually, you know, jumble together a, a website and whatever and it's lying there but as you said trevor if it goes down and someone and at least if you have a backup you can say to the person who's going to do it if you're still a bit unsure as to how to back up that you can contact someone like yourself and say okay yeah, yeah i have a backup and like that makes your job so much easier oh, yeah. because it means yeah. yeah there you go that's great send it to me bang dum dum boom, boom. Well, I know it takes a little bit more than that, but <laughs> yeah, it'll be longer. <clears throat> but the idea is, is that it's not as hard, and it doesn't take. Mm. And then also, you're keeping your costs down as well for the person mm. who's doing it as well. So yeah, so like it's, it there's there's so many there's so many advantages to actually mm. having them backups. So guys, yeah. I do hope this is of um, benefit to you. And that you learned something. I know I definitely did. I like the idea of that that two or that four, because yeah. I would have never ever thought of it. I would have just oh yeah, just one backup. Whereas as you say, keep two, go with one. Is, yeah. So it really, yeah. really. Yeah. Um. So guys, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, episode of exploring WordPress episode eight. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh trevor if people want to get in contact with you and they want to reach out to you how can they uh give you a call or get in contact yeah just pop on my website which is digitalalchemist.live and you'll find my contact page my contact details and all my social media accounts so uh, always somewhere you can find me brilliant stuff and if you're looking to get in contact with me it is uh, compassmedia.ie you find all the social links there email address is alan at compassmedia.ie uh, social media management digital marketing consultancy and everything else as i always say <laughs> all around yeah. and podcast expert oh yeah and, all, and, and just yeah. goes on and on but anyway yeah. guys um so hopefully as i said you got something out of this and hopefully uh you uh, learned something more about uh, exploring wordpress and understanding how it works and if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes you can find them all here on both the uh, digital alchemist uh, facebook page and also on the compass media facebook page and also on our respective youtube channels as well so guys until next week we shall say good evening and uh, thanks for joining us and uh, if you're on the other side of the world good morning or good afternoon to you wherever you may be in this world on next time as i always say be social trevor keep exploring talk to you soon bye, bye, -bye.